In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove reflection from glasses in Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, open up Photoshop and have an image of glasses with a reflection in there, and then we can start. So you want to select the layer, there we go, and then go down here to the adjustment layers and select curves. And now this little curve will show over here, it's linear right now, but you want to kind of drag it down here from the middle and just adjust it ever so slightly so towards the bottom right corner so the image becomes a bit darker and then once you've done this you wanna click on the this white area over here and press Ctrl and I so this will invert the uh, the adjustment layer and the curve layer into black and then once you see the black color over here we can continue and what you then wanna do is select a uh, brush tool so right click over here and click on brush and then make sure white color is selected as primary so if it's black in your case you want it to be white over here in case you have two different colors over here simply click on this over here as you can see this little uh, black and white icon and then you want to set it to white now once you've done that change the flow up here to five percent and the opacity to a hundred and smoothing you can leave it at ten percent now you can adjust the brush size uh, as much as you'd like to. I'm going to leave it at 84. It does not really matter. And then all you want to do is just simply go over the area where there's reflection. So where there's this blue light, as you can see, I'm doing it right now. You just want to kind of click and then drag a bunch of times over the area where there's reflection. There we go. Just like this, as you can see down here, it's starting to create a kind of a selection. And now once that's done, you want to go to the other part of the side glasses, of the, uh, of the glasses, the other eye as well. There we go. And now once you've done this, you want to create a new adjustment, uh, a new layer. So you simply click on this plus icon down here. There we go. Now you want to change it from normal to color. Okay. And now once you've done this, you want to take the eyedropper tool and then select a sample of the skin color from usually it's just from just below the reflection so you want to select kind of this portion over here just like this click on it there we go as you can see it's changed down here and then you want the brush tool again so right click and brush tool and you want to change the flow to 20 percent click enter and just simply go over the area where there's the reflection and as you can see the reflection is already starting to kind of disappear but you're going to have to do this multiple times. So you want to click and then just simply paint over the area pretty much. As you can see, the reflection is slowly starting to disappear. So you want to do this multiple times. Uh, pretty much as long as there's any reflection. In my case, as you can see, there's still very little in some corners. There we go. And we want this one as well. Now you can play with this, as I said, as much as you'd like to. You can make it as refined and as perfect as you need. But for the instance of this tutorial, this will be it, because I think it looks pretty, pretty solid and the reflection is not visible anymore. There we go. Now, once you've done this, you want to click down here, this plus, and make another layer. So this is the last layer we're going to create. And then change this to soft uh, light. So over here where it says soft light, you want to click this. There we go. And then we want to... Uh, make this black and white yet again. So click on this icon up here to where it says default foreground and background colors. You can also press D for this. There we go. And then you first want to select the black color. And again, we need the brush tool and change the flow back to five. Once you've done this, you want to go around the image and kind of just uh, kind of just paint over it. As you can see, it's becoming darker. And what this is going to do is kind of remove that awkward lighting that's been there uh, because of the reflection. And it's going to look much, much better. Now, you can play with this. As you can see, it's now becoming a bit just ever so slightly darker. There we go. And then once you've played with this enough and you can't see the reflection anymore and it's not really visible that you removed it, you can change this to white as well and then do the same thing with the white color so we can whiten the areas you think should be white. You have to adjust that uh, based on your image, of course. No two images are not the same. 
And yeah, once you've done that, as you can see, the image is now pretty clean. You can't really tell that there was a reflection in there, apart from this part over here that I've left out, but you can change that as well. And yeah, this is pretty much how we remove reflection from glasses in Photoshop. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, make sure to subscribe to the channel.